SCSU. SCSU. I'm Cameron Stenzel, I'm Cameron Stenzel alongside, with, alongside with, me right with me right now. Or technically, or technically he's, he's over the airway. Airway. It is Tony Ernie. Ernie, how are you doing today, bud? I am I am fantastic on this Monday. You know, it's 40 degrees outside, or at least it was today. It's nice and crispy outside, but here on the Rocket League server, things are really about to heat up. Oh, yeah, I feel like you're on the field for the, all that warm temperature and heat, everything's heating up. Uh, but let's go into tonight's matchup. So right now we have SESU going against... Um, we have a, we have SESU going against Culver Stockton College. And honestly, you know, looking at what's happening here tonight, this is a 0-2 team that is not doing very well. I mean, we have very slow starts. And I got to say, what's your thoughts on this? You know, it's early in the season. You know, it's for, for some teams, it takes them a little bit to kind of get going, get their feet beneath them. So I think for St. Cloud State, now is a great opportunity for them to really get into gear. Right now, they're walking. Now we got to see them run. And honestly, you know, you look at what happened last match. I mean, they just didn't take that opportunities. There was a lot of missed opportunities. They were kind of beaten around the bush. and They just didn't have many goals going on. They lost that match 3-1. to one. And honestly, you know, I can't wait to see what happens tonight. But let's go into the standings here. Again, 0-2, you know, it's not, you know, you talk about that, you need that push. You need that push to fight. What do they need to do tonight to get their first victory? Uh, really, it's going to be to set the tone early. Get your bumps in. I know Straight's a big fan of bumps. He likes getting physical. And then you have Captain and Power, who are both phenomenal strikers. So for the Huskies, they need to they need to draw first blood. They need to get those opening goals, and they need to be able to play a full five minutes if they want to win this series. And honestly, as you said before, you got to start fast. You have to take those opportunities. But also, you have to look at the players going into tonight's matchup or going into the starting lineup here. You have straight and captain. Both of them, they did really well working together, but they need to have that one-two punch combo in order to take this victory. So again, you're looking at SESU's lineup, straight and captain, both of them working together. Power needs to get in the mix, but they, so far that SESU's lineup is looking strong. On the other hand, Breezy, I feel like you have to watch out for him because, again, Breezy could just go right by you and he's going to breeze through. And if you don't take care of this team in uh, Culver, what's gonna, you, you don't know what's going to happen next. So they have to be cautious, but at the same time, you know, you have to be careful. But what are, you, what are your thoughts on the Culver team? You know, coming into this one, this is a, this is a team St. Cloud State hasn't played in their esports history here in Rocket League. So I think for St. Cloud State, you're gonna you're gonna have to respect them a little more than you would any other team, because you have no idea what kind of tricks they have up their sleeve. So again, you gotta respect them, but don't give them too much space if that makes sense. Like, give them space, but don't give them the whole field. Make them earn every inch of that field if they want to try to score goals. And then again, just get in their face, rough them up a little bit, rattle their cage, however you want to say it. Don't be afraid to get physical because at this level of Rocket League, if you're not going for bumps, I don't. I think you're. How do I put it? You're not utilizing the weapon you have. And honestly, I agree with you. You know, you have, as you said, you got to take the punch. You got to. You have to do everything in order to win this game. And before we head into the, and I think we are actually heading into the match here. And here we go, starting off. I know to you. So we have. Culver Stockton and St. Cloud State duking it out. St. Cloud State in the orange, Culver Stockton in the blue here on the classic DFH stadium for this best of five. Both teams early going here, gonna really just kind of test the waters. Not gonna see anything too wild and crazy just yet. There's a big demo from Power. Captain up high, just can't, pick, can't get back down for it. Straight to clean up diving save from Arsenio. Now we're gonna fan on it again. Strong opening pressure for St. Cloud State, but only one shot for credit. Breezy. In the air, looking for a teammate. Pass on the mark shot, not so much. Culver Stockton now. Get something going. That's a solo play up field for straight. No boost to work with. Huskies do get the, the 50 to go in their favor. 
hold the zone. Power the foul shot, strike top bins. And the good boys strike first. And honestly, you know, Breezy, that was a mistake on the defense for Culver Stockton. And again, Power had an open opportunity. That was a close save, but again, it didn't have enough to go out. And Culver Stockton ends up losing that point to St. Cloud State. I asked St. Cloud State to get the first one, but it's a Breezy to answer back quickly. And really, it's just a kickoff goal. Got a good bounce. Captain has to get that touch. Doesn't get it there. No, and again, you have to be careful with Breezy. He breezed and he's like the win. He went fast for that ball and took that opportunity from a long shot. So as quickly as the Huskies scored first, Culver stopped and answered back. We'll see what Straight can do here. Pass is a bit far ahead of power. Arsenio. Looking to get something going. Athletic Arsenio shot well to the corner. But power aggressive up high in the corner. As far away from the net as you can get. There's a centering feed straight just off the mark. Great feed. All three players in the corner for St. Cloud State. Got to be careful. An athletic guy going to fan on the open net. The pressure. We'll leave power wide just again, but captain will clean up. Huskies back in the lead. And at first you see, you have to look at the setup here, and that was a nice setup for captain. And honestly, he just got it in there right there. And, and honestly, he's he's lightning right now. He's lightning fire. That's a, I, I am so proud of with this team right now, taking up 2-1. Yeah, and you know, for power, as much as he wants to put that goal, in the, that ball in the back of the net, it was, it was a perfect placed pass where the defense bit on the, the fake shot. And Power's gonna fan on another one here early. But the shot, at, the initial shot attempt made Culver Stockton fight. And speaking of athletic guy, gonna sink his teeth in the back of the net. Tie us and back honestly, up halfway through. And honestly, when you look at the match right now, it's, it's very right now neck and neck. Whatever St. Cloud State puts up on the board, Culver Stockton comes right back. They need to be aggressive here for SESU to pull off this first set win here. So halfway through game number one, we've seen some offense waiting for some defense to show up on either side. Not yet. Power third times to charm. Huskies right back in the lead. And honestly, I, I nice setup again. And power goes in with that punch. Nice one-two punch right there for the setup off the wall and into the net for the lead here. 3-2. St. Cloud State taking that lead. Let's see what the Culver Stockton has in store. And at this level, you have to be able to defend the backboard, but you also have to be able to control your kickoffs. And Culver Stockton getting burned here. Honestly, you know, and honestly, that was a terrible set, a terrible start match. You know, both players were on either side. You have to be quick to the goal, but if you go for this jump boost, you, you're not going to be able to get the ball in time. And honestly, that's what happened to Culver Stockton going down 4-2. to two. Coach Kylander is burned into these players that one of them has to cheat up on kickoff. And if you don't, things like that can happen. So Huskies now lead by two, biggest lead of the game so far. So they got two minutes to go. It's a good demo from Power into open space, but no initial follow-up. This will allow Culver Stockton to inch their way downfield, find themselves on the Huskies' backboard. But the ball in precarious positions not going to allow them to score. There's a follow-up. Straight's going to get demoed as he was third back. There's the pop from Breezy. Gets it over the last defender or do it all himself. And Breezy right there, he's looking like Lionel Messi dribbling the ball. He did a nice little shot over the defender of SESU, and that is a nice opportunity to take up a score of four to three right now with a minute and 30 left to go. So 90 seconds, Huskies getting a two piece to start off. the kickoff they only lead by one i don't know if four is going to cut it here 
with how Paul Verstappen has been playing. Oh, it's an open net for Athletic Eye. Another fan attempt. Arsenio's there. And the Huskies get away with one. Straight up, the power is just wide, but it's a good enough as a clear. Keep the ball away from your own goal line. Power. Air dribble. Can't get the flip reset. You can tell St. Cloud State being a little more passive, trying to hold on to that lead. Because they don't want to overcommit. Ball lofting high through the zone. There's a great 50 from Captain. What a read off the wall. That's five now for St. Cloud. And looking at Captain again, he's just ready to punch this team to victory here. But again, you have three matches to go. And this is one of the first matches out of three, but it's best of five. Let's see what happens in the next two. But they're right now leading five to three. Now, I have seen crazier things happen. Two goals and 30 possible. Three and 30. I don't think so. So a late flurry from the Huskies. Going to secure game one. And they're looking to secure that game one right now. You know, and honestly, I think Captain has a hat trick right there going into this one. It's for set. So, final 20 seconds. Begin to wear it down here for St. Cloud State. You don't really need to push for one more, but you can go for more to try to demoralize the other team uh, and really kind of get them in, get them in their own heads. But final buzzer will sound it's the huskies to take game number one and wow that is a nice game right here going on i you gotta look at captain and straight in the power team this is a power couple right here these three you know put together they tie the unit that was a great matchup so honestly what are your thoughts on this matchup here? If, if this is for the first set, even though right now they took six to three, but what's your thoughts on how this team could pull off maybe another uh, win in the next set? Well, it's I've only, it's only been five minutes. I think the the score line is a bit uh, deceiving. Where I think this game was a lot closer than a six three. Um, Saint Cloud State they poured on a lot of goals in the end, but that first two and a half minutes. Uh, Culver Stockton was right there toe-to-toe -to -toe with St. Cloud. So going into game two, we'll have to see how things shake out. But I think that first goal, the opening goal for St. Cloud was huge for them. And honestly, you know, you got to start fast, and that's what they did. But also, you have to be careful of – this could be the battle of the Bulldogs here. Both teams have good offenses. They kind of lacked a little defense. But SESU pulled away in the first set here to take a 6-3 to three win in the first set and going into set number two here. You know, it's already early on. We only played five minutes, like you said, but let's see what goes on in this next set. Is it going to be a battle of the offenses again, or is it going to be something different? Is it going to be a defensive set? And and a lot of times what I have seen in my six years of calling Rocket League is one game can be an absolute offensive masterclass where it's like six to five. The next game will be one nothing, where it's everyone's like, okay, we have to tighten up on defense. And off the ceiling, off the crossbar, straight gonna get denied. Power on the follow up crossbar once more, straight finishes it off. And, and honestly, the look dam at it. finally broke for St. Cloud. And honestly, straight, nice job getting that in there, even though it was a lucky miss bounce right there off the crossbar. But again, St. Cloud State will strike first. So you always want to start off on the right foot. Never want to start from behind. St. Cloud State have done just that here. Early on, Captain going to ditch the ball, hunt for a demo. But Arsenio just there. Going to be an open net the other way. As just the third man just a bit too aggressive early on. And honestly, that was poor defense. You cannot have that happen. That was an open shot for Culver Stockton. And Culver Stockton takes that opportunity to tie this matchup. You cannot do that. That's the cardinal sin of defense. You cannot let the player get open. And that's what happened with Culver Stockton getting open and scoring that goal to tie. Well, and again, it's just kind of being aware of 
the players' mechanics and where really they are on the pitch and where you are on the pitch. There's a lot of things you have to be aware of than just tracking the ball. You're tracking the other five cars on the field. But again, a minute gone. We're tied 1-1 here in game two. Powers to dodge a bump. Short two-on-one, tight angle shot. Captain kicks it away. Stockton closing in. They look to go back to square one. Backboard defense not strong for Culver Stockton, but the Huskies unable to punish here. Straight gets a second touch, and it's all he needs. He's gotten both for St. Cloud, and they've looked good so far. And that was a nice job by Straight again. That double dribble right there, that is a good shot. Good good shot, good opportunity right there for Straight to score his second goal of the set here. 2-1 Sinclair State, and honestly, I'm impressed with how fast they are starting. And again, for St. Cloud State, they haven't done anything too wild and crazy. They've just played a consistent, solid Rocket League. And that's a good base for any team to have. Sometimes you might need a little more than that. Right now, I think they're doing just fine in the driver's seat. But now we begin to question for CSC and what changes they need to make going into this back half of game two. Captain, off the corner, ball's gonna still roll to the net, straights on the back door. I am confused on how Captain got this touch. I feel like you look at Culver Stockton, I think they had a mistake, but Culver, I think Captain also, you see, he had a little bit of the touch, and then Straight was right there to set that in, and he just punched it in there to the, take the 3-1 lead over Culver Stockton. Athletic. Can't get their beat out by Captain Huskies now. Trying to dump and chase, that's a great touch. Straight up, look at the center. There's a fake for power. Uh, trying to feed Captain, just wasn't ready for it. Stay with the ball, young man. Keep at it. Huskies beginning to close in. Start constricting like a python. What a save from Arsenio. Arsenio oh my man. goodness. Oh wow, that, i never seen a save like that in Rocket League and they are fighting to keep in this match. They still got time to score another goal here. But again, Big you demo. have to be careful. Straight, been able to touch that one down. For St. Cloud State, right now you're just kind of putting the ball in the open space. You know you're controlling the pace of play. Make Culver stock to chase you. Off the corner, power oh so close. Another great touch, but just wide, really carrying the team. As the other, as Breezy and Athletic have kind of fallen behind score-wise. Athletic with only 68 points to his name, going into the final minute. I'd like to see a player with at least 100 in the triple digits, at least. So. Howard gets the pinch before being demoed. Final 60 seconds to start to tick away. Huskies have dominated game number two, out shooting Culver Stockton. Eight to two in that regard. St. Cloud State happy to play in the open spaces, hunting for demos to give them more opens. Oh my God. Save of the year. I don't know how Breezy jumped down and made that save on the goal line. Absolute highway robbery. But does it need that defense to turn into offense? And once more, it's Arsenio. I mean, this team is physical, too. You got you to gotta give them credit. It's Arsenio trying to to put his team in his backpack and scratch and claw their way back to tie this game up. Goal in 20 seconds is possible. 
Huskies just need to play it mistake free. That's a big demo. But now for the Wildcats, got to go the full length of the field. Got to go north, south, not east, east, west. Breezy has a shot here, but Power gonna wait to get that ball away. And there's the touch St. Cloud wanted. They now lead the series 2-0 in a 3-2 scoreline that was not as close as it looked. Honestly, this is the, this is the second set, and the battle of the defense really came out to play. I'm surprised by Culver Stockton's defense to keep that ball out of the goal and allowing St. Cloud State to go up two goals when they had those two opportunities, but they came back and brought it close. And again, they have the opportunities to do it, but with those, mis they had minor mistakes. And again, just recap in game two here, battle of the defense. I never seen saves like that. That is amazing. And that is what Rocket League's all about. You have to play now, smart, but again, it, anything can happen. Now the, 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 where I'm seeing where Culver Stockton is struggling is right now they're kind of, they're, they're kind of a one-horse team right now where Arsenio is leading the charge. He's gotten, I know he got at least one of the goals last game, and he's gotten both of them here in game two. So for Breezy and Athletic, they need to step up because right now they're they're struggling on all fronts. They're, they had, they can't get any offense going because they're, they've been stapled to their own back wall and... St. Cloud State was running circles around them there in game number two. So game number three, St. Cloud State able to take charge. So going into game three, St. Cloud State looks to close it out. The Wildcats looking to bounce back here. And I think it starts with them scoring first, which they've been unable to do so in the first two games. Our big clear gonna bounce right back out middle. He'll follow it up, throw it on net. Arsenio had to reach out for that one. That's a good demo. Not gonna matter through the fire and the flames. Captain opens the scoring for St. Cloud. And honestly, that was a nice setup again. The defense, I mean, they have to be careful on what's happening. Anything can happen pretty fast. And that was a pretty fast strike for St. Cloud State to bring up the one nothing league. And they always scored first. Pretty quick. Like 20 and, seconds. And it's, so, that's shocking. And it's such a killer for Breezy. He was the one to get the demo onto the St. Cloud State player and essentially smoke screened himself. Couldn't see where the ball was coming from. So now that mount for the Wildcats gets a little bit taller. The double commit and the demo is not going to help. Power looking to pop. Now he's just hunting for a bump. Gets it and it goes in. Hard work does pay off. And I mean, this this Culver Stockton team has to be very frustrated with themselves right now. I mean, they have been play, playing really well together, but with, again, this third set right here for the best of five, they've been very fast for St. Cloud State, and St. Cloud State has been using those opportunities to score to bring up two to nothing here. And it's only four minutes left to go in the game in this, in this set here. It's been early going for St. Cloud State. And you, and you really start to question now where the Wildcats are mentally, you know, that, because they know they need to win this game. So the pressure's on. And early on, they've just, they, they've crumbled a little bit, granted two goals in four minutes, more than doable. But as the previous game showed, they just get pinned along their own goal line. And they struggle to break out. Power beat, patient straight straight there, denied by the crossbar. Another demo, he's a bit furious with his missed shot attempt. So, Breezy, look to center this one. Power easily will clear it away. Lots of space given by the Wildcats for the Huskies. I'd like to see them close that gap a little bit. Get in the faces of St. Cloud State. Don't make it easy on them, and that's... 
close attempt there. Straight's pass will go to the far side of the field. Captain looking for the double. Gets an unfortunate bounce off the post. Really, it's St. Cloud who has an iron hold on the midfield. Oh, straight, that's me. He's got a family. That's a traffic jam along the side. Captain trying to 50 a goal for power happy to put it high. Two minutes left. St. Cloud out shooting. The Wildcats nine to one absolute dominance so far. Captain centering feed straight, just gonna let that one roll. No harm, no power. There's a quick shot. Power once again there on the goal line. Gonna try to go the other way. Final 90, and man, the Wildcats just need a one to lift their spirits. There's a demo for Breezy. 50 from Athletic, not really gonna go into a favorable position. Breezy will cut in, but he's met by Straight. Straight and Breezy will trade short two on two. But the position is just not there for the Wildcats. They just can't get a following player in shooting position. Arsenio with the hero play, he gets denied. Final 60 seconds in the hourglass. Will St. Cloud State hold on? They've begun to turtle up. Power. Pops it high, pinches it low, gets the 50. The clips ripped away by Breezy. The Athletic just gonna hit it in the open field. Like to see that ball. Maybe hit toward a teammate if possible. Final 30 seconds begin to wind down. Breezy there for the attempt, got disrupted. Good touch from Athletic. He'll follow up. Power read the shot well. Final 10 at St. Cloud State. Look to sweep the Wildcats. And they will do so here in a dominant fashion. St. Cloud State waves goodbye to Culver Stockton. And nice job for SESU to bring the sweep here. And honestly, when you look at the three sets, they have been defense. Wow, I made. Mean, they had to get that ugly taste out of their mouths since the first two matches of the season and coming back in this third match and they sweep Culver Stockton, that is surprising right here. But you, as you said, Ernie, it is only the beginning of the season. We only played three matches. Anything can happen down the road. They need to establish who they were last semester. They have done a really good job before, you know, all of this. But now they have to start over in a new conference in a new stand in a new setting with tougher teams going into how they can play really well and honestly my thoughts on this is they did a nice job by playing fast they had dominant offense they did great teamwork and right now it's only the beginning and this is the first sweep in the season right now against Culver Stockton do you have any final thoughts before we head on off the air and and to bounce off of what you have said I think for, for St. Cloud State, you know, the the first one is always the hardest. It's the hardest one to get out of the way. St. Cloud State, they've done that. They're going to be like, okay, we can win. We've proved it to ourselves now. Now you just got to stick with that mentality going forward. And then really the story for this series was for St. Cloud State, you know, offense led them through this game. There's times where they've had to really rely on their defense and their offense has struggled. They didn't really need to worry about defense because they were on offense for 15 straight minutes, it felt. And honestly, you know, I agree with everything what you said so far. And honestly, this is a great time to show that SESU can pull off a lot of things when it's only the beginning of the season. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Atwood in the eSports Arena. 
Turn your knee on the end. I'm Cameron Stenzel saying so long and see you in the near future.